One of the important things you have when you're doing any kind of document is setting up your environment to where it's friendly to you, to where you can get to what you want to do in a rapid sort of way and not waste a lot of time looking for or clicking around where you want to go. When you think about it, if you're spending seconds doing the same thing over and over and over and over again, those can really add up and take away from your time. So just a little bit of setup, with the quick access toolbar, you can make your life easier by getting quick access to the different tools you need through this bar. Hence the name, quick access toolbar. It's right up here. You can see that we have several different things right now. We have basically a save, an undo, a redo, a touch mouse key, and that's pretty much it. So what if you want to come in here and you want to change this to what you're looking for. Well, that's why we're here. You come up here to this little thing and you can see that I can add a couple different commands inside of the quick toolbar right here. A new, open, email, quick print, print preview, spelling and grammar, etc. Let's just do one in here called quick print. And then you can see right there, this has changed now, hasn't it? That we can just go through here and quick print, boom. It's printed. We don't have to go through here and say, oh, where is that print command? Oh, file, and then come down here and do the do the print, and then from the print, do the quick print, and then go over here, and hey, I'm done. If that doesn't seem like much work, but it is when it adds up. It is when you're doing this all the time. So let's go ahead and learn how to take that out if we don't want to use the quick print. Right there, boom, you can see it's gone. The other one we're going to remove is right here, the touch mouse mode. I'm not concerned with that right now because I pretty much don't have a touch machine that I'm using on this. Your mileage may vary. Maybe you want to leave it in, maybe you want to take it out. Now, in order to get to more commands, we can see it right down here, more commands. We'll go ahead and click on that and this brings up this dialog box of all the different stuff that we can put in there. And we start off with here called popular commands and we can actually scroll down here and we can see save as text highlight color different styles that are on here. Now keep it in mind a lot of this might be on your ribbon. However, it's not in the quick launch toolbar. So we want to get access to that. We can see a line left at a table. I won't read all these to you, but if you want to move them over, you can see what I just did move them over like that. And let's say we want to move center over, we can just add it. I'm going to go ahead and click OK just so you can see, OK, there's the quick access toolbar. Those are things I just added. And you can see here this is a drop down. So if I wanted to insert a table, it drops down a certain way. Let me show you back here what those drop downs look like. You can see we have them right there. These little things, these little, I guess, right pointing arrows, uh, play button, if you will. Those will add the extra drop down list to your items on there. We're going to go ahead and remove those two that we just saw there. Now, how about you come down here and you're saying, well, what I want to do isn't there. I guess I can't do it. Well, no, you can't. You can't. It's up here. Popular commands. Well, how about this? Commands not in the ribbon. All commands. File tab, design tab, etc. Let's just go down here to all commands so we can cover everything. What you need to do is very likely inside of what you see here. So you should be able to do pretty much anything you want to do inside of the quick access toolbar and put it up there. So here, we're going to go ahead and scroll down and almost pick one at randomly so you can see almost how obscure this is. How about remove numbering? We're just tired of the, the we remove numbering all day. Oh boy, find a new job, right? We remove numbering all day and by gum, we need to have it in there. So all I have to do is click OK down here and it puts it in there. So there we go. The quick access toolbar. You can import and export this toolbar so you can take it somewhere else. You can make a standard for a lot of people that you work with. And last thing to show you right here, show quick access toolbar below the ribbon. That means that that's essentially going to take that toolbar and put it right here below the ribbon. 
Again, depending upon how you work, what you need, you can have it above the ribbon or below the ribbon. We're going to move it back, show above the ribbon. There we go. So that's a look at the Quick Access Toolbar in Word 2013.